Hello everybody, and in this video we're going to fix the screen resolution towards your monitor fitting, and in our previous video we've discussed how to install uh, VM, VMbox, excuse me, VirtualBox, and install the Kali Linux. So here on the top right I have these commands here, and so we can like zoom past everything and have a quick uh, video tutorial, and if you guys can do me one big favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video, get those bell uh, get that bell hit with the post notifications turned on so and share this on all of your social media as our channel grows we become one big happy family okay so first things first is we're gonna open up a terminal and let's uh, put that towards the bottom left so we're gonna enter these commands here so leap pad is a type of editor and we're going into the pathway so to etc then the next ho uh, next folder apt then to the file itself the sources dot list so let's go ahead and copy that paste that in and hit enter and this is where we're gonna put in our um, couple of links so I have this link open up here and I'll, I'll everything will be in the description down below and what we want to do is copy and paste and go ahead and go right here and we can just go ahead and just paste this all in and what we want to do is see this right here where that hashtags at basically it's commented out we want to uncomment it so we're gonna have it looking like this I mean this line right here that that line does not matter so we'll have it look exactly like this now what you want to do is go to file save and exit it out and now we want to run our apt dash get uh, space update so it updates our system now from system to system it can vary of how much power you gave the virtual box here so it can take anywhere between 30 seconds maybe to even five minutes or maybe even longer okay so now what uh, it's done now the next command that we want to type in is apt dash get and we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a little bit of a upgrade here and hit enter and this is where it can take um, some time for it to install. Again, uh, when it becomes a lengthy video, I will speed up the process for you. It'll, it'll take some time for me, but uh, yeah. Okay, so if this pops up, what we want to do is choose the default setting. So we're just going to go ahead and hit no. And we're just going to keep hitting no. Um, whatever it's defaulted on, just go ahead and hit enter. Oh man, it's such a long install. <laughs> so if you come to this, again, just keep hitting enter. Just leave things at default. And it'll just uh, keep installing. So um, yeah, it says this may take some time. So uh, it's going to take some time. Alrighty, now that we're done upgrading that, we're going to go ahead and continue off with the next command. So what we want to do is go towards our uh, CD desktop and we're gonna enter in these commands but first what we want to do is on the virtual box you want to click on device then insert guest uh, edition uh, CD image or edition excuse me and it'll ask you do you want to run it uh, if you click on run it's it'll just say it was unable to locate the program so what we need to do is click on the CD icon then we're gonna drag and drop this file the vbox Linux edition dot run okay now we can go ahead and close out of that and now we can run in the next command so with the uh, CH mod we're giving it permissions to read and write and all that whatnot stuff and now we are going to run the file and it's going to give us a couple of headers which uh, we're going to be installing some headers here so these are the two headers so it says right here at the bottom line that these two headers uh, yours might say something a little bit different so just copy and paste uh, paste them so copy and then we're going to paste it right here so it's going to be apt get or dash get space install then the first header so right there the this here is the first header 
go ahead and insert that right there. And we're going to hit uh, space in there. And you're going to hit Y. And we're going to do the same thing for this. So let's go ahead and remove that. And it's going to be apt git install. And that's the next command that we're going to be running. Okay, now let's go ahead and run this command to install the second header. So sometimes with a simple trick, all we need to do is reboot because if we're unable to type in this command, well, oops, what we're going to do is just simply reboot. So type in that into the terminal. We'll wait for it to come back up. And we'll type in those commands again. Alrighty, so now that we booted up, let's go ahead and enter it in, our username and password. Wait, what the hell? <laughs> it's already full screened. Okay, so um, typing in the, the last commands, the, the last header, uh, wasn't really necessary. However, it should have been necessary f because... Um, it needs it needs those headers. <laughs> um, weird. Okay, well, if it works for me, then it works for you. Nonetheless, I will still give you those commands in case if you have any problems, even after you reboot. So make sure that you type in those commands if you still don't have a full screen. Okay, guys, if you find this video helpful, please give a thumbs up. If you are confused, still leave a thumbs up because I'm, I was a little bit confused of why I didn't take the last command. <laughs> okay, uh, in our next video, we're going to be talking about port forwarding and a little bit of networking. So I will see you then. Y'all take care. Peace. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again. Chasing Benjamins, running till the very end. Yeah, every day I'm feeling great. Better than the day before, and you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of you waving. I'm just